Although I must say there aren't many better places to be on a beautiful night for football than St. James's Park. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me in the commentary box, providing expert analysis, is Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It's Newcastle United up against Tottenham Hotspur. Thanks, Derek. Well, often we talk about the tactics, the individual... And here's the Newcastle formation. Well, it'll be interesting to see how the wingers play today. Will they stay high and wide? Will they come in field and support the centre forward? And how deep will they come out of possession? They're going to be key to this formation. This is the starting lineup for Tottenham Hotspur. Hugo Lloris begins in goal. Dejan Kulusevski plays with Hyung Min Son out wide. And the centrepiece of the attack today is Harry Kane. Number five, Fabian Scar. It's a very attractive match in prospect, and it's Tottenham Hotspur who get things underway. And the pass could do damage, and nothing positive comes of it, unfortunately. Well, you can probably see why we're focusing on this fellow as one to watch. Stewart, in particular, what do you expect to see from him? Well, Derek, he's a great all-round player, but it's his ability to run in behind... Harry Kane! And the keeper more than equal to the task. Short corner taken. Able to get his body in the way. And deciding to go short with this one. Rebier. Kane! Chance maybe. And there it is. A goal. I must say, much to the annoyance of the keeper. Well, here we can see it again. Normally I'm the first to point the finger at a goalkeeper, but I think it's a good initial save. I'm not sure he could have done much more. Just a bit unfortunate, really, that it dropped to an opponent. So the action continues, and it's up to the Magpies to wipe out that last goal. Botman. Sam Maxima. There to take it away. Promising move from Tottenham. Kane. Harry Kane! Oh, magnificent reaction. Can he get them level? And a goal to square the game into the seat stuff. Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace on the counter-attack. They were so quick to break out from their defensive positions, and then the finish is fairly simple in the end. That's a good goal. Go, 
So the ball is rolling again at one all. Son. Willock. And they need to get tighter. And that's a straightforward stop. Pretty routine there for the goalkeeper. Well, they need to be more positive with their passing. Make more runs in behind the defence, create overloads in the wide areas, and then we may see an improvement in those stats. Well, in possession now. Let's see what they can create. And the keeper did more than enough. Playing it short. Well, he failed to get it away properly. Trippier. That's great goalkeeping. Well, what a save that is. He was so alert there. Well, they haven't created too much lately, but the fans know this is a chance to take the lead here. And short it is. Makes his way in field. Pretty comfortable piece of defending. Shot attempted. No way through. Far from a good pass. And we are going to have two additional minutes. Well, the first half story has been written. Half time here at St. James. So back underway here into the second half. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. I think. Most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, they weren't at their best, but with that equaliser, you can see why he's so important to this team. Hopefully they can get more of the ball to him in the second half so he can show us his ability. Kane. Given away by Tottenham. That's useful play. Oh, a fine block. Really a very poor ball. Ivan Perisic. It did look on for them, but not to be. to find a better save than that Loris and a change for Spurs at this juncture and taken short and a fine cross and still dangerous Sam Maxima and on to Kurusevsky he continues his run. Well, he made sure there was absolutely no way through. Joe Willock. Isaac. Joe Linton. Real chance. And in! Oh, yes! Exactly what they were hoping to produce. They've delivered the goal.
Well, just look at his movement. He knows exactly how to find space. And it's also a tidy finish. That's a nice goal. What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? And out of play, the pass nearly worked out, but not quite. And a good tackle. Promising sequence. Time is not on the side. This corner could help the prospects as they look for an equaliser. Elects to go short. And intercepts again. It's one corner after another. Short corner favoured. He must finish. Oh, late drama here. All level again. Incredible scenes. Well, here's the replay, and it's a well-worked corner. They go short, change the angle, and then put the ball into the box. And the finish is clinical. It just makes it look so easy, doesn't it? Well, another equaliser. What a topsy-turvy game this has been. And so into the final five minutes. Delivered into the area here. Well, a really important piece of goalkeeping at this stage. Well, it's such a key moment in the game. That's a really good save. Keen to take it short here. And it's played into the centre. Can they stop it going in? Oh, they've done it! They forged ahead. And it might be the goal that gives them victory. Well, here it is again, and I feel a bit sorry for the goalkeeper. He makes a good save to start with, but where are his defenders following in? Instead, it's the attacker who's alert. He gets to the ball first, and it's a good finish. Well, behind they are, Tottenham Hotspur. How will they respond now? Well, the action is going to continue for a while yet. We will have four minutes of stoppage time. It's not looking confident in possession. Son seducing with his passing. And there goes the final whistle. It is a happy story as far as Newcastle are concerned. Three points for them. What did you make of it all? Yes, Derek. Well, it could have gone either way, couldn't it? It's so competitive for much of the game, but they kept pushing, kept believing, and probably deserved the winner in the end. A great result. Not to give an honest appraisal of his performance, doesn't look as though he's really been at it, Stuart. Well, he didn't have his best game, but he still played a part in the team's victory. He certainly made a contribution.